if you can do something good for a patient or someone and you think you can do it I think we should do it and we you should forget the bounds and regulations and all those things because this is a real life this is helping the patient this procedure precision oncology works on many patients and I think not long from today I believe maybe in five years or so is going to be a standard it should be a standard any patient with a specific gene if it's there in trial or approved by FDA should be available to that patient we shouldn't avoid that that's that's very important you know a lot of patients come here and it's their last resort they've given up hope are there any patients you ever don't accept I always say to uh, patients if anybody can walk talk and eat and they come into my clinic here they have still a chance for a treatment a chance for survival so if they are in bed if they are in bed all day if they are not eating if they are not conscious uh, I think those patients may get more harm than any benefit by the treatment so these are my rule of thumb criteria to uh, treat any patient advanced cancer how does the medical community in general respond to the kind of treatment you're doing here? What do you hear? There are two different uh, approaches uh, to our clinic uh, by other doctors or academics. Some uh, academic centers, some doctors that uh, my colleagues uh, working in the community or academic center, uh, they approve us, they uh, praise us for what we do. And sometimes they even refer patients to us because they don't have anything to offer to their patients. And we also have negative uh, reaction feedback because uh, they think that what we do is out of the box and not standard. But my, uh, I can challenge that uh, you know, concern because uh, when the patient has no option, when the patient is not a ca candidate for trial, when the patient has failed standard treatment and patient and the family member would like to have additional option, then what are you going to do? Are you just sit and watch them or you want to do something for that patient? And those are the patients that come to us and they get good results. I would say 80% and above, they get good results. I'm, I'm not claiming we cure stage 4 cancer. There is no cure. But if you improve the quality of life, if you give them some additional chance to live a little bit longer with good quality of life why not they take that option and they take it seriously and um, that's how we work with this patient and we try to help